live without having to set up another another box or another input for that Skype. But one of the really neat features we helped with uh, Akaku the other uh, last fall was on their elections. They wanted to bring in some uh, of the constituents through Twitter into their live broadcast without having to type all that stuff in. So they make uh, a Chrome browser plugin that just lets you mark the text and send that to your lower thirds so that you can fill that in without having to have someone type it. And it just uh, makes for instant live feedback and instant uh, I graphics. I've got to see this machine. Oh, yeah. By the way, welcome to ThinkTech. <laughs> <laughs> ThinkTech Talks on ThinkTech. I'm your host, Jay Fidel. And we're talking today with, uh, about new products from New Tech. New, new Tech is our company, our supplier, through ComputerWise. We're going to talk to uh, Kurt and Lisa Wood of ComputerWise. They're here today. They're, they're here to, to talk to people who have TriCasters and other New Tech products here in Hawaii. They do a lot of work in Hawaii. And they're just back for the, from the NAB show. We're going to address the issue of whether New Tech is alive and well. I think it is uh, in the video space, the video switching market. So if you want to ask a question or participate in the discussion, you can tweet us or you can call 415-871-2474 as usual. So our guests, Kurt and Lisa, are right here. Um, welcome to the show, Kurt and Lisa. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, it's great to have you. Um, they are the pr principals of ComputerWise. Uh, they are resellers uh, of TriCaster and other video switching uh, technology. They're familiar, if not intimate, with all things new tech and will bring us current on the new TC1 switcher. You want to hear about that, as well as other great technology we saw at NAB show and they otherwise tell us about. Um, so um, let's, let's begin with the TC1, okay? The TC1, I just saw it at the NAB show, Carol and Lee and I, we went and we saw it and you talked about it and I was so excited about it. And that's the one you were talking about a minute ago yes. when, when you kind of rolled into the show, Kurt. Tell us more. Well, TC1 is tri uh, NewTek's newest TriCaster machine. It has uh, it's a 16 input switcher. Uh, two of those switch two of those channels are actually Skype channels, so you can bring in guests directly to your switcher without having additional hardware software. Um, it gives you a great four. Idea. Great idea. Oh yeah, it's it's fabulous for this kind of a show or any kind of show where you want to bring in Skype cars, but they uh, they actually allow you to bring in all kinds of things. You can bring in uh, Macintosh. You can bring in an iOS device like an iPad. You can bring in, use Android phones for cameras or iPhones for cameras, and all those can be brought directly into your switcher without really very little setup, without any real stress of how to do that. So I can send a bunch of people to an event, everybody with an iPhone, is this true? Mm -hmm. And I can have them feed back into the switcher using some, some kind of NDI type server? How yeah, what, what NDI does, it's actually a, it's a, it's a, a uh, what people are talking about, uh, workflow over IP, it basically allows you to bring in any connected device on your network, uh, be, it, be it a computer or a camera, a DVD player, pretty much anything that you want to bring in, you could bring in directly into your TriCaster as a video source. So I can send out half a dozen people with, with cell phones, and they can go to the event, stand at opposite sides, and walk through the crowd, and reach out and get sound and video of things that are happening around them, and nobody will know actually that they're broadcasting back. <laughs> That's correct. And then I can get it here in the studio downtown in Pioneer Plaza with yeah. my TriCaster 460 or my TriCaster 410, and I can use those as shots, each one of those cameras, and I can cover that event without anybody in the crowd ever noticing that there's no camera there. That's it's correct, video yeah. video phones, just for cell phones. Yep, and not, not only iPhones, but Android phones, whatever. Yeah. Whatever, you can, tablets, anything that can get onto a Wi-Fi network. Yeah. This is going to change things, don't you think? Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. So, Lisa, <clears throat> um, you've been watching this for, oh, how many years now? You and Kurt have been involved in this for... You know, it's amazing because you're only, you're only years. 17 years yeah. old. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know how that works. I'm watching it from the room. <laughs> <laughs> really? You know, it must be really exciting because in your time, you guys, you have seen the thing expand like topsy. It's amazing the way the way things have happened, and you're right there. And I envy you that. I want your job. I want your job. And and so, uh, can you talk about you know the, the the quality and the speed of that expansion? And can you talk about where it's going to expand from here? Sure. Um, NDI, in a nutshell, basically is 
making all these connections available to you all the time, any time you want. And it doesn't matter what size of camera you got, what kind of resolution, if the camera's even connected to your machine anymore. As long as you can get to it through uh, some type of an internet protocol, we can bring that in and use that as a source. Uh, you, you mentioned LiveView a little bit ago, and you guys use LiveView. It's a fabulous product. Uh, you can do that same kind of thing as you des you described with an iPhone or with yeah. an Android phone, yeah. as long as you can get to the internet and get it somewhere that we can see it. LiveView, by the way, is an Israeli company, and they make this uh, technology about the size of a cigar <laughs> box, and it bonds up like six um, you know, cell phone providers, and it takes all that, uh, all those connections, and makes them into a very high-speed broadband, you know, connection through a server, and we get it as a shot. No matter, you know, how far away we are, most places in the state, we can get really good pictures. So we send people out for think tech on the street, and report back on a regular basis. And you know, to me, that's the future of all of this. It's not so much that you know we're going to get perfect pictures and um, you know national network quality of switching it's that we can get the news we can go out into the crowd we can cover things stat right now we don't have to bring a satellite truck with us uh, we don't have to have 27 people in the field we can do it with one person actually hot live and raw it's, live and it's raw. what the people want it's what the people want yeah. they want those short takes they exactly. want those you know a minute maybe or two and uh, they want it on scene, they want to have, have it happen right there. And you guys are involved in that. That's a tremendous change. Oh, yeah. Um, and what, so where is it going to go from here? <laughs> well, I, I, I assume uh, what's happening now is this, this change over where we lose, uh, we lose all these different kinds of cables and different kinds of connections. We, go, we lose uh, worrying about if it's an SDI camera hooking to an SDI input or if it's a component camera hooking, can we get that in there, or an S camera, or a composite, we, lo we lose all that. What we end up with, and Lisa was supposed to bring a bundle of cables, I bet you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we basically come to how do we get this particular piece of machinery or this piece of software uh, to our TriCaster, which is basically going to be Ethernet or wireless. And once that changeover occurs, you'll see cameras that basically will produce uh, NDI, which is a network device interface, uh, streams directly out of the camera. Instead of like a, all these different component and SDI cables, etc., you're just going to have probably an Ethernet cable. So all this wiring that we see in the studio will, oh, yeah. will go down to one wire, wire to a, a, a router or a switch, and that will be that. Yeah. Well, that would be amazing. And that, that's wireless through a wireless comp uh, you know, uh, module of some kind? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, you can okay. do wireless. However, you can get that signal to, for the TriCaster to see your. And it doesn't have to be a TriCaster any longer. There's a lot of people that have adopted NDI already. Uh, there's probably a dozen switcher companies that have adopted it. NDI is available to anybody that wants it. Uh, New Tech will give you the SDK, and you can produce your own product or interface your product into their to use their stuff. It does not have to be. Um, a new tech device if you want. There's other companies. Panasonic, yeah. Panasonic, for example, uh, they just showed a little switcher that they've adopted NDI on, and um, vMix has one, and StreamStar has one, and even uh, even uh, some of the people that make the particular graphics engines like Chiron. Chiron has a, an, an NDI type of a device to give their graphics, and so does VizRT, and so does, I guess, Ross has adopted it for their graphics engine now, too. Well, I, you know, walking around uh, the NAB show and seeing you guys there, uh, that, that was my, uh, my thought, too, that um, we have NDI everywhere. Everybody is, uh, is communicating by, uh, by the Internet, uh, including cameras, hither and yon. Uh, this is going to change the cable situation. I mean, you know, we don't have a camera to show you all the cables on the floor, but this place <laughs> is alive with you cables. Know. <laughs> I, was, I have this bouquet of cables oh, all nice. over. <laughs> VGA, SDR, yeah, right, all those right, kinds. Right. And then I was to hold up a Cat6 cable and compare the two. But yeah, yeah. yeah literally uh, just tons less cables. And even, um, is it the NFL that was doing all of their switching from one? They know they're switching. They do their uh, replays. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a, a central office for doing replays. But, uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 whole, the whole dream is just that you get down to 
a regular old, and everybody has a network already. You already have a network. I have a network. If we could get, if we could put our video on that network without replacing all that stuff with expensive pieces, which since we've already got it, let's use it. And that's the holy grail of uh, IP workflow, and NDI does that. It yeah. takes your existing infrastructure for your network and makes it into a video distribute two-way right. video distribution system. That's the thing of the future, wireless. Yeah. But you know, question: Have you seen? I mean, I didn't look for this at the NAB show, and we should talk about the NAB show in general. But um, uh, have you seen anything where you take an existing camera and you plug into one of the ports on the existing camera, and there's a little module that you know straps onto the camera, fits on the back of the camera, and that is the wireless. In other words, oh yeah, no transitional problems at all. Yeah. Um, besides LiveView, there's many other manufacturers that do that. There's a company called Teradek that is really popular right now that does kind of the same Fair thing. Enough, yeah. um, there's all kinds of companies out there that are doing that to make it easier for you to get your, and basically it ends up to be a little box that takes it from whatever you got into either a video signal or possibly LiveView is one of the adopters of NDI too, well, and Teradek, both of them do that. They will provide you an NDI signal so you can just plug that into your network and your TriCaster or whatever switcher that uses NDI will see that. You guys are a fixture. I mean, a well-known fixture. Everybody can recognize <laughs> you. And it's not because of your red hair, Kurt. It's OK. I want to be clear about that. But I mean, 104,000 pe people showed up, a million square feet of space, something close to 1,000 breakout sessions, and 1,800 exhibitors, including New Tech and all these other guys. So what was, it, what was it like for you? You've been there every year, I think. And how is it changing? And how will it change? Are you going to Shanghai? Are you going, <laughs> are you going to New York? It's coming soon. You know, um, basically communications are changing enough and uh, the way that we do things are changing to the point where our uh, going to these shows can be virtual now. So we could see uh, that with, yeah. with uh, someone else going there or someone else showing us that show. Um, you're going to see uh, online training where you have interactive training. And I've actually, I'm actually set up to do this right now where if somebody wants to be trained, they can call up instead of paying me to go out and, and be on site. I can actually train them via Skype and uh, show them how to do things right in my office. So this virtual uh, visit, visiting and virtual tours of things are really going to be big this yeah. Next, yeah. next little bit. Now, video is a great thing for education. Short yeah. pieces, like we use uh, lynda.com for uh, you know, Premiere oh, yeah. Pro and all that. It's very useful. And um, you know, it's, it's all about software as far as I'm concerned, too. So like, for example, I, I was inspired. I'm always inspired by the NAB show by some of the software vendors. There's a lot of software, scheduling software, for example, and playlist software. So we started writing our own software on FileMaker, Apple's FileMaker product. And that's really changing the way you know, we do business, we schedule things, we communicate. It's all virtual. It's on the net. It's, it's right there. Anybody, anywhere, even in jammies, you can, you yeah. can you know, get information that you need to have. And this is all coming together as a confluence, or may I say a further confluence of software. Um, have you followed that? I mean, I know that's at the heart of all the new tech uh, products anyway. Um, but you know, what's the sense of it? Have you talked to the programmers? Um, I, I, I haven't for a while. I used to, uh, once a year, we'd kind of sit up front with uh, Andrew and uh, Dr. Cross, and he would kind of give us a little bit of insight of what they're going for. But uh, this year was such a busy year, we did not really get a chance to talk to those guys about that. But um, really, this uh, this whole changeover of, of of what you're talking about, I think, where yeah, you go you go to these sites and you can download the videos, or you could maybe have a live professor at Linda. Linda would basically provide you a live professor so that you're having a, a two-way conversation with that person and getting the the actual question that you have answered online right there. And that's where it's that's where it's really headed. With, with a picture of the equipment. So if yeah. you have a problem on our TriCasters, I can call you up on Skype and you can flash a picture of the, the ports involved or the boards, or I can flash a picture and we can communicate at least as well as if we were yeah. together in the studio. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like virtual technical support. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the greatest the, thing in the world. Exactly, yeah. Well, why didn't we have that before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to well use your own technology. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what new tech actually has been known for, is the fact that all of their technology is software-based so um, it's so much easier for them to upgrade uh, because they don't have these specialized pieces of hardware that they need to change out. Right, it's right. all software. So as the hardware 
uh, pieces of the computer get faster and they're able to do more, then uh, it's just simpler for them just to change the software up to meet whatever the hardware specs can do. So is, is New Tech uh, global? Is yes, it out there in absolutely. Asia and Europe and all that? Absolutely. I, I would bet their greatest market right now is China. I would, I would, uh, I would dare say that uh, I've seen them. Uh, I know some of the people that work in their EMU division, and uh, they are constantly visiting all over the of Asia and Europe is heavily involved in it. Most of the television companies that you see in Europe are now using TriCaster and NewTek products. So, uh, I saw a, a stat the other day that 80% of all Fortune 500 companies use TriCaster in one way or NewTek products in one way or another. So, I mean, they're huge presence all over the world, all over the globe. I just got a message last night on my phone from uh, a person that we know that's also involved in, in New Tech, and he was like, ah, and there was like New Tech posters in the background. He's like, hey, are you guys here? And I'm like, where? And he says, we're in Singapore. Or they were at a convention <laughs> at the New Tech booth in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Just assumed we would be there. Yeah. The new communication yeah, yeah. and the new teaching, the new you know influencing, and it's citizen journalism. It changes things. If there's one place you can do citizen journalism, it's, it's with the TriCaster. It's with uh, oh, New yeah. Tech. I'm so glad. You know, sometimes you pick the right technology, and and you watch it and it grows under you, and you realize you're you're on the right path. And that's what happened here. I am so glad we're using TriCaster. We're committed to TriCaster, and we're committed to you guys. You guys are the ones who put in touch, put us in touch, and made it oh, happen. Thank you. Thank you. For that over the years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want more. So what is your trip about this time? Uh, it's basically showing uh, integration of other products from other companies. Uh, this NDI thing is really big because it basically it lets you marry products that would normally not be in your production into your production if you had, uh, for instance, a black magic card that was in your your PC or you, we can we can actually use that as an input device or we can use uh, Magewell or Bluefish or any number of other companies products so we're going to show that uh, we're going to show how the Skype works inside of the TC1 uh, I, I made a little list of all the different devices we're bringing in there's I think there's uh, 13 different kinds of cameras there are we're bringing in PowerPoint and some web camera stuff, some 4K stuff, uh, and that's one thing I failed to mention is NDI is, is uh, basically resolution agnostic. It doesn't care if it's 2K or 4K or oh, standard F. But or, it can be 4K, no problem. Oh yeah, or yeah. 6K or 8K or 8K. 8K. Well, we saw that at the NAB show. Yeah. yeah, it really doesn't matter. It's uh, it's future proofing your production future proofing your your ability to do things that you have now and letting you expand into something that we may not even know what's coming up but it's going to work mm -hmm. so it's 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 all about that um I'm trying to think of some of the other fun well, things we've, I've got to show them. You always bring your, 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 your bag of joy yeah. Yeah, yeah. all this equipment <laughs> so you can show it to people. And our purpose this time actually is um, the, the community college puts on a PCAT um, IT symposium, which brings us over. And we get the opportunity to meet with teachers from K-12, K-12, through um, have them in a classroom situation for like 30 minutes. And basically, it's just to educate our educators yeah. of not specific brands, you know, that are out there, but why, why do we want this technology in our schools and in our classrooms? And he loves to educate people, so he's just happy, happy. And Olelo Community uh, television is always good to allow us to do a public event there where we can set up all of this equipment and again it's all about education we want to educate sure. the people it doesn't matter what equipment mm. you already have but let us show you how to integrate this new technology the NDI and that's what we hope to accomplish this yeah. trip well, what I also like, further to that point, is that you can have a TriCaster, you can have the new tech technology, but there's always a path to better. Uh, what I mean is when something new comes out, like the TCI, um, it's not like your old equipment is, is not a value. It's a value. There's a resale market. It holds its value. It holds its price, right? Yeah. And so I can trade it in or you know sell it at a good price and then go to the next one, and you guys facilitate that. So that's we appreciate that a lot, and that's our track, too, because you have to keep current. 
But we have to anyway. We're compulsive. <laughs> but you know, some of those educational institutions, they can go for something that's not, you know, not frontier. They can go for Absolutely. one step behind because they got to learn. Um, so there's a, there's a whole passage. There's a whole process. Am I right? Yep. Yep. Well, and you can you can incorporate things that you couldn't incorporate. They may they may seem that they're antiquated and outdated now to you, so they you might have shelved those. But they did something that was really neat that you wanted to bring into your show, and you can't do it right now because maybe they've discontinue that well with NDI technology you may be able to resurrect that equipment and bring it back into your show and use it yeah um, as long as it's PC based or Mac based or some kind of computer based thing we can probably resurrect that and bring that into our productions now but you guys are resellers for other companies as well as yeah. new tech and uh, you mentioned that you're doing business now with data video uh, can you tell us about data video I looked it has a, a lot of offerings on B&H photo uh, lots and lots of stuff, and uh, and it has a website that doesn't quit. Uh, but can you summarize what they do? Sure. Uh, Data Video is a company that's been around for a very long time, much like New Tech. They, uh, they, uh, as a matter of fact, one of my very first uh, switchers was a data, data video switcher. But they, uh, they make all different kinds of solutions, much like uh, you're using here. They may have an adapter that takes component SDI or SDI to. HDMI, that kind of thing, but they also make smaller switchers that uh, will fit. They're, they're, they, in some ways, they re resemble uh, New Tech in the fact they make uh, a switching surface with a set of cameras, and they have some very unique, cost-affordable solutions as well. And portable. They're very portable. Yeah, they make one that's in a briefcase and. Uh, I've seen a couple of those on B and H. Yeah. One of our yeah. compatriots was supposed to be here to show up, but he uh, he took sick. But he was going to bring one of those and. It's a very small little box like this that uh, basically that's your switcher, much like a TriCaster without not as many bells and whistles, but it's a hardware-based switcher. It always works. They're very basic. Very solid, very good company. Yeah, there's a lot of them coming on the market. I mean, mm -hmm. namely 1,800 of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a NAB show. A lot of them coming from outside the U.S. I mean, there were manufacturers from South America. There were manufacturers certainly from China. Uh, with a lot of stuff that looked American, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> looked very American, <laughs> and, and uh, Europe, Europe for that matter. So you know what you have is a is a is a, a complete movement. It's a movement in equipment, and it reaches everybody and allows these kids to learn. These kids learn that what does that mean? I mean, we had some sixth graders here yesterday sitting in these chairs, that's right? Amazing. Who were into video, and that's what they were already dedicated, at least a, as dedicated as a sixth a sixth grader could be dedicated. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, they want to do that for a career. Well, all these people want that because there's something really sexy about video, isn't there? That's why you guys do it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are. So, I, I got to really, I got to really hand it to Hawaii for outfitting these uh, elementary kids. We've been to probably 30, 40 elementary schools, yeah. and they are they're educating these kids young, and they're. Some of the best cameramen are fifth and sixth graders I've ever seen, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've we've uh, especially in Maui. There's oh, probably half a dozen to a yeah, dozen the schools. The state of Hawaii in, in their younger education has just embraced this technology, and um, it makes me frustrated with some of the other states on the mainland. Yeah. You know, it's like why don't you get it? You know, yeah. these guys get it, and uh, that uh, all of that that you just said is why it's so important that NDI is here now because they can take new tech products, they can take some of these new products if they see redeeming values you know, in certain products, bring them all together and they, they no longer have to choose one brand and stick with it you know, or be left with a doorstop when the technology changes. It's just, it's allowing everyone to bring whatever they have. Yeah. To the table, hook it up, and and do a production. It's a democratization. It's, yeah. it's yeah. happening around us. Yeah. It means that anybody and everybody can get in. The price of entry is really not burdensome, yeah. and you can get in there and do journalism if you want. You can do feature like we do, um, and you can make movies. You can do art. Oh yeah. And all these kids are being empowered, and I once they get hooked, I think they stay with it. A lot of them stay with it, so they go on for careers in that regard. And it also means, and I'm sure you guys have seen this, that Hawaii. It has a special creative streak in it. Yes. Hawaii has people who like this stuff, and hopefully, and I'm knocking wood. I'm knocking wood. <laughs> 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 Hawaii 
you know, we'll have them stay here. They will stay. They will do art here. They will, you know, make us famous for the art. I think that's coming. Like we have music, the music is coming back at a rapid rate, yeah. and it's all connected, music and art and video, and we can be a very expressive state. This is an alternative to tourism, if you will. Um, but you guys have seen that. You're here a lot. You come a lot. Yeah. You talk to everyone who's involved or wants to get involved in video. You're the, sort of the godfathers, I mean, godfathers <laughs> and mothers uh, <laughs> of video in Hawaii. I mean, a, you know, serious video. So we really appreciate that you come around. We appreciate that you come around and do talk shows with us. Oh, thank you. In, in Las Vegas and <laughs> even better here. <laughs> we appreciate that you invite us. Yeah, too. you're great, you guys. Well, okay, you want to make a closing statement here. Uh, take that camera, camera one. It wants you. Okay. It's the people. <laughs> a closing statement. Oops. Gosh, I think uh, the, the closing statement would be that I'm, I, I, I think that uh, the vision of having people make television in their own homes is now possible. Not only possible, you can do a great job at doing it. Uh, if you want to be creative and you want to get a message out, tell a story, anyone can do that now. And I, I, it's, it's a wonderful time to be alive. Wow. How much of that do you agree with, Lisa? <laughs> oh, I, I, I agree with everything. <laughs> what would you <laughs> add to it? <laughs> I, I would add that it's, it's wonderful to be, you know, available in this time and just to, I just, I challenge everyone, reach out and grasp this new technology and don't be afraid of it and use it because um, once you use it and you'll feel that creativity that uh, Jay is talking about, then the world is your oyster. Everyone has a story. Everyone has something interesting yes. to say. Absolutely. Yes. Wow. Let your story be told. You guys are not so much technical today. You're artists today. You're philosophers <laughs> today. <laughs> thank you so much, Kurt. You're yeah, our thank guru. You. Thank you. And Lisa, thank you. You're our access to Kurt. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Thanks very much for thank coming you down. For you guys are great. Us. And you talk to me. Thanks. <laughs> thank you.